Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Deputy Senate President Ovia Mwagege has spoken up against a recent gold transaction between Zamfara State Government and the Central Bank of Nigeria, describing it as illegal and insensitive to the plight of largely backward oil producing communities in the Niger Delta. Senator Omoagege, the highest political office holder from the Niger Delta, while speaking during Senate plenary last week, also called for urgent efforts to address widespread unemployment and poverty in the Niger Delta. Correspondent Chika Abodozie completes the story. The federal government in 2019 launched the Presidential Artisanal Gold Mining Development Initiative to encourage local participation in the refining of gold as an alternative source of revenue for Nigeria. The initiative was designed to check gold theft, provide employment and create wealth in the country's gold belt. Zamfara State, under the administration of Governor Belo Matawale, immediately took advantage of the Presidential Gold Mining Initiative and encouraged large-scale gold production. In July this year, President Buhari took delivery of the first locally refined gold bars from the government of Zamfara State, which was sold to the Central Bank of Nigeria for about 5 billion naira. At a recent press conference in Guso, Governor Matawali hinted that he was taking a step further to establish a gold reserve for Zamfara State. For a start, we have purchased 31 kilograms, not grams, kilograms of gold. Only mine and refined by our artisanal miners will subsequently continue to buy gold from our local miners for us to gradually improve the reserve. The precious metal will be deposited in a designated bank. Senator Omo Agege, who recently drew the attention of the gold transaction between the government of Zamfara State and the Central Bank of Nigeria, described it as illegal and insensitive to the plight of other economic zones in the country, particularly the Niger Delta, which produces crude oil that has served as Nigeria's economic mainstay for several decades. Not too long ago, we saw the governor of uh, Zamfara State come before the CBN to present a gold bar worth close to about 5 billion naira. Uh, people are beginning to wonder who owns this gold, you know, that is being sold to, to uh, the CBN. You know, because they know that they, they don't sell oil in Delta State. They don't sell oil in any of the Niger Delta States, you know. So they're wondering why a governor of a state will be selling a, a, a gold bar from Zamfara to the CBN. We believe that whatever revenue that ought to come from that transaction belongs to the entire country. Senator Omo Agege, in his submission during Senate plenary, also expressed concern over the state of underdevelopment in the Niger Delta, where unemployment and poverty have been on the increase over the years. It's very, very important that the youth in these communities are engaged. And the only way they can be engaged, Mr. President, is for these oil companies, Mr. President, the oil companies who explore oil in these communities, in the Niger Delta. It is very, very important, Mr. President, that they help in creating jobs for these people. And the only way they can do that, Mr. President, is to have their headquarters, their business operations located within the Niger Delta. The implementation of the Presidential Artisanal Gold Mining Development Initiative an otherwise laudable economic policy is generally viewed as skewed in favor of the country's gold belt. Prior to Senator Omo Agege's submission on the Zamfara gold purchase, the move to vest the mining of gold in state governments had been condemned by lawyers and human rights activists as a violation of sections 1 and 2 of the Nigerian Minerals and Mining Act 2007, which gives the federal government control over all mineral resources in the country. For activists in the Niger Delta, however, the federal government has the moral obligation to extend same goodwill to artisanal crude oil refiners whose operations remain outlawed almost three years after the government promised to incorporate them into the mainstream of oil production. In 
inside the Niger Delta. 